Hey, what is up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Today we're on the fourth of a short series on Reveal.js, this HTML presentation framework. I've shown you how to get it up and started, how to configure it, how to add plugins and basic theming. Today, I want to show you how to add your own custom CSS, your own custom styling, and also how to transition slides from one to the next. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and pull this back up. You'll remember last time we added basic CSS sheets that come with the framework already. So here, like, I'll install one of their other ones or link to it, um, and you can see it pop up there. Let's go ahead and switch back to black. We're going to use that as our starting point. Um, and if I come over here and look at the documentation uh, down below, let's get this off there. Um, come down here to, let's see, themes. Sorry about that. Themes, there we go. Um, and these are the options you can choose from that come pre-installed. You can also uh, see a list of exposed variables here. Uh, these are the things, the CSS variables, that it uses to style kind of global styles for the entire slide deck. Uh, but you can also create your own theme. That's what we're going to look at today. Um, and it says the first thing you need to do is to copy a SCSS file from the CSS folder. And then you look in theme, and then you look in source. So let's go ahead and take this black one, and we'll duplicate it. So I'll come in here and duplicate it, and we're going to call it custom. Let me open this up here now, and it tells you every file includes several things. So it includes a mixins and a settings. So those are both imported up top. They've also imported a, spawn, uh, a font here in this uh, theme-specific font section. And then here are the overrides. This is number three. So this uh, style sheet, which is copied from black here, uh, has these uh, stylings. So we'll say red here, and then let's change this one to blue, something like this. Um, and then let's jump back over here. And if I refresh it here, well, first of all, we have to hook it up. <laughs> well, let's come over here and say uh, custom. You'll see it's slightly uh, hard to look at, but it does update for you uh, automatically, which is kind of cool. All right, so you can come over here and you can change uh, any of these that are listed already. Or if you come over this way, there's these root variables you can play with. Uh, you'll notice that at the bottom, you have to have this theme, and that basically tells the Galt file to move it from SESS down to CSS, and so that's what's going on there. Um, you can actually, when you go to run the actual build script here, you'll notice that it actually will minify that as well, uh, but for now, it's just added down here uh, in this CSS folder. Uh, looks like it's added both a black copy and a CSS, so we can probably get rid of this since we changed the name uh, anyhow. Okay, so you can update this, add your own font colors, all this kind of stuff. And of course, of course, you have access to all those uh, CSS variables as well. So that's how you would add your own custom styling. Um, this is kind of hideous. So let's change it to something that we can look at here. So we'll go back to the custom black style sheet. Okay, and then let me close the sidebar here. And let's go ahead and now we're going to look at transitions. So if I come down here to transitions here, this tells you how to actually move from one slide to the next. And it depends on how you've uh, added, uh, what kind of things you've added in, in this initializer. By default, uh, if I jump over here, this is uh, just the config options I showed you a couple times ago. Uh, by default, everything is set to slide, and the default speed is used, and the background transition is set to fade. Um, but you can update that to any of the other options that you want. In fact, if I come over here, it's going to tell you what these options are. Fade, slide, convex, concave, zoom. And this is these are global changes to everything. Up top here, it shows you that you can also add individual ones. So let's say I want globally everything to stay on this slide. But if I come back up here, let's say on slide uh, section one here, this first slide, I want it to zoom. Let's go all the way back out this way. And you see now it zooms just on that one. Every other one slides. Back to the transitions here, you can see that you can also change the speed. So like it's normally set to default once again, unless you've changed that in your config settings. Now it'll be set to fast. So if I come here, this will probably be, uh, yeah, really tough to watch. All right, really quick. All right. Um, now you can come back down here and you can also add different things. So like slide in or fade out. Uh, let's see if I can do zoom out, I'm guessing, not pit, uh, out. Let's come back this way, which means it should only zoom out and not zoom in. Well, I guess that one doesn't work. Or maybe I'm not doing that right. Let's see, fade uh, out. Let's try that because we know that should work. So that doesn't work that way. Yeah, so it only goes one direction. So maybe zoom out doesn't work. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's just zoom. Okay, but you've got these transitions here, uh, and you can shift all these however you want. 
Now it says here you can do in and out, so maybe I just messed that zoom one up, um, but it gives you some examples here. And then it shows you once again, if you wanna change everything globally, you can do that as well. With background transitions, um, you see the normal one is set to fade uh, here, but they're showing how you can globally change it to slide or something like that. You can also, uh, once again, just like you do on individual sections above for the transitions, you can do the background transitions the same way. So I could come in here and say data background transition and then change whatever I want it to be. So for instance, if I were to come up here and let's change it instead of, um, let's see, what was it, fade? I could change it to slide. So I could say slide here and then let's get rid of this zoom. Maybe not slide, so it looks different. Let's see, once what's one we haven't used, convex. All right, so let's come back over this way and now it actually is gonna change based off, let's move this fast so we can actually see it. Okay, we'll come back here. We don't have a background, so we can't see it. Okay, well, anyhow, this is how you would do that. Um, and if you wanna see how that works, uh, they've got examples here as well. Now, with any of these things I'm showing you, uh, if you wanna kinda of see how it works in real time, or maybe just look at another example, this uh, Reveal.js homepage has this slide deck up here, and that is actually found, let's see if I can find here, in this demo uh, HTML. So if I were to come and open this up, you'll notice that anything I can see in here, this is saying the HTML presentation framework, it's showing the logo. I can actually look section by section and say, hey, uh, let me jump ahead here. Hey, I like how they did this slide background and it's saying data dash background and giving a color. So I can come down here and try to find that. Uh, let's see, let's just look for it down here. Okay, so here it is right here. So it's showing you exactly how they did that. So you can actually look and see their examples here and then correspond to what's actually in this demo.html to see exactly what it looks like. All right, so that's the basics of transitioning. It's also the basics of adding your own custom styling. And then if you really wanna kinda of dig into the weeds, I'd suggest you look at this demo.html file and this will give you the best example. This will give you the best example of how to customize the transitions and the styling to fit your needs. All right, well, hopefully this is a helpful quick overview. Next time we're gonna look at backgrounds, media, layouts, and I'm gonna show you a couple other keyboard shortcuts that are kind of cool that come built in with Reveal.js. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna watch that, make sure you subscribe so you catch it next time I post, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much, and happy coding.